Welcome to Books and Storytime by MyBookSummary.com. Let's explore the language garden of growing dreams together. In a small, quiet town surrounded by rolling hills, there lived a girl named Lila. She loved stories and often dreamed of exploring faraway places. However, in her town, everyone spoke a different language, and English felt like a distant star, bright but unreachable. Lila's best friend was Max a cheerful boy with an adventurous spirit. He too wished to learn English. One sunny day, they spotted a new girl in their class named Sarah. She had just moved from the city and spoke English fluently, her words flowing like a melody that captivated Lila's heart. How do you speak English so beautifully? Lila asked, her eyes sparkling with curiosity. With a warm smile, Sarah replied, I make mistakes all the time, but I never let that stop me. I learn a little bit every day. Inspired by her words, Lila and Max decided they would embark on their own adventure to learn English, starting with simple greetings. Hello, goodbye, and thank you. First, it was daunting. They felt shy and worried about making mistakes. One day, Lila mistakenly said, I am sad instead of, I am happy, and the class erupted in laughter. Her cheeks turned crimson, and tears threatened to fall but Max quickly reassured her. It's all right, Lila, we are learning together. We can't give up. That moment turned into a promise between them. Every day, they would learn five new English words and practice them together. They scribbled the words in a notebook, saying them out loud, sometimes forgetting and feeling disheartened. While other days, they celebrated small victories, feeling like champions. One chilly afternoon, Lila met a girl named Ella sitting alone on a bench, tears streaming down her face. What's wrong? Lila asked, taking a seat beside her. Ella sniffled. I want to learn English, but I'm too scared. Lila smiled. Why don't you join us? We're learning together. Ella's eyes brightened with hope. And from that day on, the three friends, Lila, Max, and Ella, formed a team. They often practiced with their families, sometimes struggling to be understood. One evening, they gathered in Lila's backyard and sang silly songs with their new words, their laughter filling the air like music. Slowly but surely, their confidence grew. Then came a magical moment when Lila spoke to a new student named Leo. She asked him about the library and answered his questions in English without even thinking about it. His smile and compliment made her heart swell with pride. I did it! she exclaimed, rushing to share the news with Max and Ella. They jumped and cheered, their joy radiating like sunshine. As the seasons changed, so did their English skills. They watched English movies with subtitles, read children's books, and practiced speaking every chance they got. Mistakes no longer felt like setbacks, but rather stepping stones toward growth. One summer evening, they sat by the lake, watching the sunset paint the sky with colors. Ella sighed, Learning English has brought us so many new friends, Max agreed, adding, now we can connect with people from different places. Lila nodded. It has opened up a whole new world for us. Their journey continued, and one day, a quiet boy named Sam approached them. He whispered that he wanted to learn too but felt shy. Lila gently said, we all make mistakes, Sam. You can learn with us. Sam's eyes sparkled with gratitude as he joined their group. They made learning fun by creating games like a word hunt every weekend. Each member would find a new word and tell a story using it. Sometimes the stories made them laugh, sometimes cry, but they always cheered each other on, building a bond of friendship that grew stronger with every word. One day, Ella stood up in front of their class to give a speech. She spoke about how learning English changed her life, her voice trembling but filled with courage. When she finished, the room was silent before erupting into applause. Tears of joy streamed down her cheeks. She had conquered her fears. With time, more children joined their circle. One rainy day, Lila met a girl named Mia, who felt lost in her new school. I want to learn English, but I feel so out of place, Mia said. Lila wrapped her arm around her, saying, you belong with us. Let's learn together. As they helped Mia find her voice, the group became a family, sharing hopes and dreams. They held a word party one evening, 
where each child shared a special word and its meaning. When it was Mia's turn, she stood tall and declared, My word is hope. I found hope in you all. That night, they sat under the stars, reflecting on their journey. Lila realized that learning English was not just about mastering words. It was about the friendships forged, the dreams nurtured, and the moments shared. As time passed, they became more than friends. They became a support system for one another, encouraging each other to pursue their dreams. Lila's heart swelled with pride as she thought of all they had achieved together. So, if you find yourself on a similar journey, remember, every word learned is a step toward a brighter future. Embrace the mistakes, cherish the laughter, and know that you're never alone. Let's grow together, hand in hand, making our dreams bloom like flowers in a garden. Stay tuned for more enlightening content. Head over to www.mybooksummary.com. Don't forget to subscribe and share the magic with friends. And let's grow together through the power of books and interesting stories.